In this video we'll look at subtracting integers in the real world, two different types of temperature problems. The first one where temperature increases a couple of times, we'll write a subtraction sentence and then get the answer. In example two, figure out what is the absolute value of the difference between these two temperatures. Okay. So example one, the temperature at noon is 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Six hours later it has dropped by 20 degrees Fahrenheit and by midnight it has dropped another 9 degrees Fahrenheit. Now remember you don't have to write out the words. You don't have to write out the words, just, just read it and uh, write down the answer. So we'll write a subtraction problem for this and what is the temperature at midnight? Okay. So let's begin. The temperature at noon is 18 degrees Fahrenheit. I guess we don't really need to write down noon but at noon it's 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Six hours later it has dropped by 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Now what does dropped by 20 degrees mean? What does dropped by 20 degrees mean? Right. So it has dropped 20 degrees. Does that make sense? It goes down 20 degrees. It doesn't, it doesn't mean it has dropped to 20 degrees. In fact that would be up, wouldn't it? It has dropped 20 degrees. It's got colder by 20 degrees, right? Okay, and we'll keep going. And by midnight it has dropped another 9 degrees. What does that mean? By midnight it has dropped another 9 degrees. It means the temperature has gone down again, dropped another 9 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Write a subtraction problem for this. There's a subtraction problem. What is the temperature at midnight? You just need to figure it out, right? Of course, you don't need to put in degrees Fahrenheit. You can just do 18 minus 20 minus 9. That would be the same thing, right? So um, you can do subtractions, or you can change the subtractions to plus negative, whatever you prefer. Um, of course, there's two ways of doing it. I'll do it both ways. 18 minus 20. What's that? 18 dropped by 20, it goes to negative 2 degrees and then drops by 9. It's at negative 2 and it goes down 9. Negative 11. See, if that negative 2 goes down 9 again, that's negative 11, right? Of course, if that was on a thermometer scale, you're talking, so 0 degrees is here, so it's 18. It drops by 20. Drops by 20 and it goes to two degrees that's two degrees right oh sorry two degrees so this is zero degrees this is eighteen degrees right and then it drops by another nine drops by another nine and it ends up at sorry that's negative two degrees ends up at negative eleven degrees right so it starts at eighteen drops to negative two and then drops to negative eleven Starts at 18, drops negative 2, drops negative 11. Anyway, of course you could have just done plus negative, plus negative, uh, 20 negatives and 9 negatives is 29 negatives, 29 bad guys, 18 plus negative 29, 18 positives, 29 negatives, negative 11. So. Example 2. What is the absolute value of the difference between 136 degrees Fahrenheit and 100, negative 129 degrees Fahrenheit? So this is actually the hottest recorded temperature on Earth in Libya, North Africa. This is the lowest recorded temperature on Earth in Antarctica, right? South Pole, right? So we want to get the absolute value of the difference between these two numbers. Tell me, can you get the write down what's the difference between this and this? Difference means you're going to subtract two numbers, right? So you're going to take two numbers, you're going to subtract them. What numbers are you going to subtract? Just forget about the absolute value. Just do the difference to begin with. The difference between this and this. The difference between 136 and um, well this should actually be in red, it's hot isn't it? red for hot 136 very hot negative 129 very cold right there we go hot and cold anyway that's the difference between the temperatures now how would we get the absolute value of that difference? would we just do 
absolute value signs on either side, right? So that's the absolute value of the difference, the absolute value of the difference between 136 and negative 129. Now we calculate it, okay? Negative, negative makes plus, plus. Add those numbers, 1, 3, 6, 1, 2, 9. 6 plus 9, 15, carry the 1. 1 and 3 is 4, and 2 is 6. Two and 1 and 1 is 2. 2, 6, 5, right? 2, 6, 5. Get the absolute value of 265. 265, right? So the absolute value of the difference between these temperatures is 265 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the difference between the hottest and lowest temperature ever recorded on Earth. Of course, on a thermometer, up, 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 really bad drawing of a thermometer here, zero degrees, and all the way up there we have 136 degrees Fahrenheit in Libya, and all the way down here we have our negative 129 degrees Fahrenheit in Antarctica, and of course you can see, you know, what is the difference between them? Well. The, this, the absolute value of the difference between them is just simply calculating, you know, this distance of temperature, or this change of temperature, right? And of course you would just add 129, so it's 129 degrees to get from here to zero, and it's then 136 degrees to get from here to zero, right? So obviously you would just add these to get 265. So we didn't actually need the fancy math, but anyway, it was it was fun. To, it was might as well just see what it's like because uh, if you were ever to kind of uh, compute lots of these things in the computer, you would you would actually kind of need to use these uh, operations, absolute value, and subtract negatives and things like that. Anyway, there we go.